Greetings and Namaste from Nepal. Welcome to today's presentation on Greater Kathmandu Metro Rail System for Integrated Development. Badanji proposed Metro Rail in Nepal during a lecture in the Soviet Union some 20 years ago. Today, the voluntary advocacy group, the Greater Kathmandu Valley Metro Rail Promotion Group, is working on an integrated transportation system for Greater Kathmandu Valley with Metro at the core. Expats and experts have formed a voluntary advocacy group called the Greater Kathmandu Valley Metro Rail Promotion Group. After 70 years of modern development, we have converted Kathmandu Valley into a austere business hour, a apazar urban sprawl with a lot of traffic conditions, traffic accidents, dust pollution, water pollution, air pollution, emission from vehicles, the industries, encroachment of heritage, rivers. To come out from this mesh we have created, we need a different kind of thinking. Metro Rail Promotion Group has come out with a vision of blending of past glory and history with the modern development of infrastructure, bringing harmonious development. Madanji, the current framework of the integrated transportation system for Greater Kathmandu Valley with Metro at the core can serve as a model for comprehensive and effective development strategies. Flash back to our legends and history. Kathmandu Valley is geographically and geologically, it's a big lake inhabited by Nagas and several learned people come here to insert knowledge and as a place for meditation, the divine light that is radiating from the lotus flower is a peculiarity Manjushri from Tibet came with the vision that this is a very blessed place and could be a good place for human settlement. They drain off water and created Kapanu Valley. This aspect needs a lot of respect which we are missing for the last 70 years. Blending past history with modern infrastructure development could again create a harmonious development of Kathmandu Valley. Kathmandu is a concrete jungle now. Even the schools are locate, located within the very environmentally hazardous areas. With every infrastructure development, we have a big conflict with local people. We are using the concept of an infrastructure development with our concern to heritage and natural uh, environment. In the context of widening roads, we are trying to damage the cultural heritage. Bungamati, smart city, landslides, earthquakes, fire, lightning, so many things are there which needs to be taken care of. Thinking about the environmental aspect, we are looking at the strategic environmental assessment that particularly will address the region, regional environmental hazards like the dust storm from Rajasthan and the Himalayan fire that brings a lot of pollution all across the South Asia. We have industrial corridors from Tading area and Hitora area that brings a lot of dust and smoke emission to valley. The emission is trapped. These things require a long-term vision. The Kathmandu Valley transport system is particularly subject for worry for everybody. The mayors of Kathmandu Valley has been struggling since we have no integrated approach. There is no solution for, for bringing a rational kind of a transport system. Effort for bringing metro rail has been struggling that sometimes they talk about flyovers, sometimes they talk about monorails and cable cars. But Kathmandu Metro system, as we see, will integrate all kind of transportation. The metro rail will be underground. Metro station will feed that other transport, transport systems. Other transport system will feed the metro rail. A lot of congestion, a lot of uh, emissions will be eliminated. From last 10 years, the government has put Metro Rail as a national priority project, but because of the divided responsibilities within the government, railway department, they look after one part of railway, uh, Metro Rail, we call it Patna Line. The investment board, they are looking after Kathmandu Line, to the to Thankot. What about other parts? Consideration for heritage, local people, the environment, all those things are somehow missing and particularly interference with heritage. But after spending 10 years and 300 million rupees, we are nowhere. 
The material study, feasible study within the Kathmandu Valley was of uh, particular of no uh, benefit. The group has come out that the way they are looking is no more valid because the studies are taken over by many, many divided institutions like Railway Department, Investment Board, traffic is looked at the Traffic Management Department, road is uh, controlled by Department of Roads. All of them are not in harmony and there is not a single unit that monitors and uh, coordinates among the different institutions. As we see is that we need one door institution who can manage, coordinate, bring partnership, resolve the conflicts and build opportunity for all and try to build the consensus among the users and the government and, and the professionals. That's one of the things that's lacking. So the Metro Rail Promotion Group has proposed that there should be one authority for looking at the Metro Rail system that will particularly uh, control over, over the design, planning and implementation. Uh, at the same time, since it is associated with the urban development, the Garfano Valley Development Authority should be uh, amalgated with the uh, mayor's forum, bringing mayors and the valley authority into one system so that they can build consensus and work together. The Garfano Valley vision, uh, as we call, is for next century. It will take a lot of time for actually implementing, uh, bringing all the solutions. So, Kathmandu Valley Development Vision has come out with, with the idea that the comprehensive development of Kathmandu Valley requires is a joint effort of all institutions and, and particularly coordination under a single one-door entity, maybe particularly under the uh, uh, jurisdiction of Prime Minister. We see that the best institution for this uh, assignment is the Planning Commission who can coordinate with all the ministries and departments and make link with, directly with the Prime Minister. Unless there is a platform where all departments are coordinated, where we can discuss and come to consensus, where we discuss about legal and institutional reforms, uh, we are going nowhere. If we go ahead with one door institution as a first step before going to all kind of studies and, and uh, development uh, efforts to be implemented in, in a piecemeal basis, if we could form a, form a institution where all the studies, all the, all the efforts and all the ideas could be considered and, and come to consensus, that would be part of a, a, a one step ahead was creating better capital value in an adorable and livable, clean, green, open space and generating Kathmandu Valley for better its betterment and handing over the past and our glory to future generations. Kathmandu Valley has a very peculiar and important universal values in terms of culture and heritage. Kathmandu Valley is blessed with three jewels. We call them Mari, Mari which are the people, biodiversity and heritage. So is the culture, the living culture of Kathmandu Valley and, and all over Nepal. This is the blessing Nepal has got. And one of the efforts or the vision of our group is to regenerate and rejuvenate and protect these valuable Maris. Look at a vision statement. To regenerate the greater Kathmandu Valley as a vibrant, modern, safe, smart, and livable city by anchoring its harmonious development with cultural values, heritage, and past and the past glory for the future generation. And I wanted to share this little thing about from San Diego how things change. Talk about material is not not just a train. The transport system will be diverted towards the stations so that transport system between the stations are regularly uh, adjusted. The, every municipality can build up their one kind of team and, and Kathmandu Valley and, and the municipalities will be a kind of a complementing each other, creating equal opportunity for economic and business development.
but this requires a huge effort towards building awareness, bringing consensus among the uh, stakeholders like the departments, the municipalities, the communities and the users. Unless we do it, a lot of changes in terms of changing Kathmandu Valley into a livable and adorable city will be too difficult.